Okay, welcome to uh, TravelX, everyone. So, um, as Lisa mentioned, my name is Uma Said. I am the Scrum Master slash Agile Coach here at TravelX. I've been working here for about nine months, um, working with a lot of the engineering teams. Um, I've been generally working as a Scrum Master for the last seven years. Um, I've done a lot of hybrid roles um, within the Agile space, and I've worked with all different types of companies, um, and I'm here to talk to you about how well people actually know about Agile. So, in my previous experiences, I've come across companies, I've come across development teams about what they know about Scrum in general. And a lot of people, I was surprised actually, they don't know why they're using Scrum. Now I've come across a few terms which I wanted to share um, about the most common things about why people are using Scrum. So these are the things I've actually heard myself personally. Sometimes you get people saying that we use Scrum because everyone is using Scrum. <laughs> you know, maybe it's the latest thing uh, on the market right now. They see another department in the same company using Scrum, so maybe we should use it as well and roll it out to everyone. Maybe that's another reason why you would use it. Also, it's the latest trend in the industry. If you read articles online saying, you know, Scrum is the best, blah, 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 then maybe that way might be a reason why a company adopts uh, to use this methodology. Another one I've come across is that Scrum is going to fix all your problems. <laughs> so I want to focus a little bit about um, fixing problems. So I don't know if anyone's aware, there's a guy called jo uh, Ron Jeffries. Anyone heard of him? Yeah. yeah. If you haven't, he's one of the uh, software developers um, that has teamed up with 16 other software developers back in 2001 to create the Agile Manifesto. Um, so these guys uh, got together, you know, they created something out of extreme programming, which is more lightweight and works well in sort of Agile methodologies. And he said a quote very recently, Scrum doesn't fix your problems. Scrum, it shows you your problems uh, and you, the people as a development team, are there to fix your own problems. So that's quite true in many terms, because when I come across teams adopting Scrum, they just don't know why they're using it in the first place. And essentially, what they're trying to do is trying to resolve a problem that they currently have in the current ways of working, which they're not aware of. And they will go to Scrum naturally because they see it fixing people's problems elsewhere. Uh, and they go and adopt this to try and highlight what is going wrong and where they need to make improvements. Um, so that's one thing that's really stuck with me. And I've always like pitched that to people, you know, just doing Scrum because someone else is doing it might not work for you. So it all depends on the company you work for, the teams, the products you build. Um, if there's something that's not working, then Scrum is a way to trial something, uh, highlight your problems, and then possibly fix it around that way. Based on that, um, there was a data that was um, released very recently by a company called Slash Data. So they did a survey for a lot of tech companies out there in the industry today. I think they covered about 10 or 11 different sectors about what project management methodologies they're currently using. And Scrum was the, the highest one. It took 37% in the survey. Does anyone want to guess what the second highest methodology was from that survey? Just shout random stuff. Kanban. Prince, Kanban. Any other recommendations? Waterfall. Waterfall. No. None. None. So this is the survey. So Scrum took 37%. The next, next highest one was nothing at all. So you can see there's like 10 different ways you can pick a methodology. But you pick the one that you hear about the most. Maybe you see other people using it. Um, Waterfall only took 15%. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, actually, these numbers don't add up to 100. But that's because there was a multiple choice uh, questionnaire on there. So some might use a hybrid of this. But if you see, Scrum is the top. Nothing at all and nothing specific are one of the top ones on there. So this article was uh, named, it's either Scrum or nothing. So if you do go into like most tech companies, the majority of the time, you're going to find that they'll be either using Scrum or they won't be using anything. And most of the time, they will naturally fall into like a hybrid kind of methodology that they've made up uh, just to try and make themselves work more efficiently or whatever. But um, this is one of the reasons, you know, where people are asking questions, why should we use Scrum? Um, and the other thing that I really wanted to know is, is do people know enough about Scrum to use it? So one thing I've realized when people ask me what do I do um, and what is Scrum, I'm actually quite surprised. A lot of people have, their knowledge and understanding of Scrum ends at just, it, it's the four ceremonies. You run the four ceremonies and you're a Scrum team. That's it, end of story. But then I reverse ask them these type of questions and it gets them to start thinking, oh, actually, we didn't think about that. We need to consider a little bit more uh, about what we can use Scrum for and you know, how can we improve our teams to more self-organization, um, empower the teams, you know, work, work on things that people are not aware of. So the last thing you want to do is end up working on just doing ceremonies, because you might end up like this guy here. 
and I've seen people in the past, they do look like this. This is not a scrum team that I would you know, happily work with. So if your team looks like this, you, know, you really need to reconsider like, what you're doing wrong. So because I ask these types of questions to get people thinking, I'm really keen to like, learn about other people's knowledge of what Scrum is and generally what Agile is. So what we're going to do today is do a pop quiz. So you're all here and you're now going to take a live exam. So now I'm going to hand it over to you guys and I want to learn about how much of Scrum and Agile you know. So what we're going to do is I'm going to explain some rules and you guys are going to take an exam and it'll be about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and then we're going to see a leaderboard of who gets the most correct answers. Does that sound good? Right, here's the rules. Each member in the audience is going to compete and there's going to be a, a multiple choice uh, questions to gain the most points. I'll uh, explain the scoring in a minute. There's only one correct answer per question. And as you play, once you've answered a question, you're going to see your own personal leaderboard about how many points you've currently scored. Uh, the person at the end with the most points will win and they will get a prize. And there is a prize for the first, second and third places. So you guys will be winning some really cool stuff that I've bought. So the higher you rank, the better the prize. So I have some prizes here, which I will showcase to you. I know you guys haven't seen this. First place. By the way, I didn't get this from Tesco. <laughs> I got it from more a high-end place, like Sainsbury's. So these are the, uh, the prizes. So what I need you guys to do now is follow these rules. If you can open up your phones and go to this URL. <laughs> when you add your name, if you can put your full name just so we know who the winners are, because if there's like five Johns, I'm not going to know which John is the winner. There's no obligation. If you don't want to play, you don't have to. It's a bit of fun. While you're doing that, I'll explain the next set of um, rules. So you're going to see a question on the screen. And it's going to be very time boxed, because I only have half an hour for this talk. Um, so I'm not going to be pausing it in between to answer any questions. I'll take questions afterwards. But you're going to have 30 seconds to read the question and answer it and submit your answer through the app. After that, once you've answered that question, you'll see um, what the reasoning behind the answer was underneath. So you'll have 20 seconds to review that before you see the next question. As you're going along, you'll see a live leaderboard underneath the question as well. And if for any reason, there's two people at the end that have the same score and are in first place, the quiz will basically detect the person who scored the fastest in the last question they got correct as the winner. Yeah, so I checked that and the maximum, the minimum, the maximum is 10,000. Is everyone having problems? Anyone having problems? Okay. There is a Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi man. Yeah. <laughs> Is it you in, yeah? I'm going to start it after. Yeah. Maybe I'll just put it on the screen. I'll put it on the screen. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now.
Because when you do, you can take into this. Uh, can you quickly sign in, sign up? A random email. It doesn't have to be real. Okay. The what? Oh, sorry. Zero two one zero eight five. <laughs> What's it saying? This, and then it says it's giving this. Uh, I think it. You have to. I'm gonna manually start it. So once I click start, it should appear. Okay. But stay here, in case I need you as a test. <laughs> Everyone ready? <laughs> no? But it, it right now it's not giving me the right now it's not giving me the link to join now. It's fine, that's that's the link. It will pop up. Because okay. you're on the URL. Okay. Yeah. Uh, don't don't sign up. Yeah. Yeah, sign up. Shall we sign up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign up, sign up, sign up. I shouldn't ask you to sign up. Fifty-one users connected. That seems about right. Yeah, yeah. That's enough, I think. How much time do I have? Well, you've got twenty minutes to speak and start it off by Hopefully, this should be ten more minutes. And that should be fine. Yeah. Guys, we're gonna get started because uh, we're running low on time. So the last slide, quickly just go through how the scoring works. There's 15 questions. Remember, there's 30 seconds to answer the question. For every correct answer, you get five points. Uh, if you get a wrong answer, you get zero. Every, the person who gets the uh, answer correct the fastest in the room will get an additional three points. So that will be eight points for that question. Um, the second fastest will get two, and the third will get one extra. Uh, so altogether, there's 75 points in total for correct answers. That's irrespective of if you're the fastest. But if you are the fastest, on every question, then there's a total of 120, but I don't think anyone's going to get that. Oh, are these the answers? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> so I'm now going to start the quiz, and I'm going to hand it over to you guys and uh, check the uh, leaderboard. Let's go. <laughs> Just check and see it works. Are you not taking part in my no, because... Uh, <laughs> and when it says submitted, you just wait for the next question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I might check to see how many have submitted. Can I... Oh, yeah, all the answers. But you just see, you don't see, like... Yeah. I see a uh, HR team connect. Oh, that's quite a lot of answers, 65. Yeah, so most people did connect anyway. Yeah. So you get 20 seconds to review if you got it right. So 75% of you got this right. If you want to know why you got it wrong, there's a description underneath for you to quickly read. If there's any you want to discuss afterwards, then uh, just remember the question and come and speak to me after. I can see the leaderboard there. Sorry? I can see the leaderboard. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're third. For how long though? Yeah, I told you I'll test it. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Do you know what this is? I'm going to go off the leaderboard now. I, I want to know the percentage of how many will get this right. I knew it. 
It's a game changer, that one, isn't it? <laughs> huh? Did you get that one? I like, I like. <laughs> you can't change your answer. I don't like this. You can't thing. change it. <laughs> yeah. Read all the options. Don't rush. Because people are trying to be the fastest. That's the thing. Get them extra points in there. So I like doing tricky questions like this where not everyone will get this right. <laughs> I might, I might hide after this. <laughs> oh, sh Can you see the next question? Yes. <laughs> So my one is stuck. Yeah. Hmm, that's weird. But if it goes to the next screen, yeah. so maybe that might Four be. seconds left. Oh, it's working. It's working now, yeah. Yeah. Oh. There's a lot of people failing this. Yeah, I know. Who's a travel ex employee? I don't know. It's not me, yeah, I, that's what I thought. It can't be. It's got to be Dottie at the back. I don't know, that's a controversial okay, travel ex employee. It must be, it must be Dottie at the back. Yeah. yeah. Do you, see, do you see your leaderboard underneath? Yeah, you see yes. that, yeah? So where are you? I'm you're ninth. Oh, oh, man. You have to get faster. I know. Get them extra points in. I know. Oh, Travelex employee dropped. <laughs> but the PBR is 10% of the sprint. Yeah, but you don't time out how long that takes. You do that every day. You should be doing that twice. That's a stupid question. It's a trick question. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might need to run away after this, like hide uh, downstairs or something. There's like a 120 points in total for the fastest correct answers for all of them. But 75 generally if you get. Ooh. 18%. That was high, yeah. You gotta chuck an easy one in there some at some point. That's the thing, like you know when you said like everyone here is very mature agilists. There's always something you can catch them out on. Yeah. Not, not that they don't know. I'm catching them out, but like getting them to think more <laughs> yeah. about stuff. Yeah. Torp provoking. that's the word. Yes. Oh, now this could be any, either of these. Come on. <laughs> I 
that's the thing, a quiz messes with your head. I see three correct answers there. That's why I did that. Maybe, maybe there are. See, look, this one is like... For Hi. the uh, live feed, can I get the quiz pin again? Uh, 021-085. 021 yeah. Live feed, that's Oh, God. Wait. Live feed, he means, not the live stream, YouTube stream. He means this? Yeah. Okay. Do you need this? After. I honestly don't know what ideal these are. I don't think any, anyone. This record. will be very split. I guarantee. It will just be guesses. It's the first time I've heard of that too. Yeah. Even that's what everyone's discussing now. Yeah. <laughs> Make it good. No, no, I know the answer, but oh, I said, that's not right. Afterwards, after the whole thing.
I don't know. It's all on this. The last question is the killer. Yeah. Last question, guys. That's not fair. We're going against the machine, though. Be quick. <laughs> Made the last one a little bit easy just to get the last minute points. I expect at least 80% correct. Oh, close, close. <laughs> All right, well done, guys. Give yourself a round of applause for that. That's the uh, end of the quiz.